Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy DJ Fanatic at soundsforproducers.com. Here, giving you another tip in FL Studio, which is a gem. As usual, we like to give you a couple things so you can use in your productions and also just kind of run with it and help you make better songs and helping you sell more beats and helping you get closer and closer to your goals as a music producer. So these are little tricks in FL Studio. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that sub button. This is a new channel. We appreciate all the subs and also hit the bell as well. So that way, you know, you can see our other videos coming up automatically you get a notification letting you know hey there's another tip for you and there's nothing wrong with learning new things you know in your doll uh in this instance it's fl studio shout out to fl studio gang um this is primarily what i use but you know it's always good to grow as a producer and learn a bunch of tricks so um this video is going to be real quick um but it's very powerful i chose a random sound not random but just something in um omnisphere this sound is the voltage dreams of a robot um which is a, a funny name actually but um obviously there's some chords here that we made uh, these are seven chords and uh minor chords actually yep minor chords and i'll let you hear what we did it's just something real simple actually might use those chords for a beat and i forgot to mention if you hit the thumbs up we definitely appreciate it if, if you feel in this this um this tip definitely give it a thumbs up so anyway uh we're going to control a select all and what i was going to show you is a trick that you can do to make these sounds a little more complex or you know a, a way to make your beat sound fuller um this is definitely a filler um if you hit Control A, select all, or you can, whatever notes you want to use in this uh, little trick I'm going to show you, hit Alt A. And what that brings up is the arpeggiator, arpeggiator, excuse me. And it gives you a lot of different options. Um, instead of just those standard seven chords, if you notice, and I'm not sure why, but one of the notes are missing. Um, probably because of the arpeggiation settings, but um, notice they're like little... Uh, I would probably say quarter notes now and they actually arpeggiate um, that is the quick arpeggiator shortcut in FL studio instead of just having regular chords you can have this and then you can mess around with the parameters so let me go through a few check it out I'm gonna hit play so you can hear what's going on And also what you can do is mess around with these parameters. So with the gate, obviously it shows how long the note is and how short the note is. So you open the gate up more or increase it. Um, it's longer. And you lower it, it's a shorter note. And what's really cool, uh, this time multiplier. It's a nice little setting in this arpeggiator uh, where you can um, just get some different results. So check it out as I adjust. As you increase, notice the notes get longer. And what it's doing is uh, changing the arpeggiation. So check it out. Basically a slower arpeggiation. You can make the notes longer by opening the grid up while increasing the time as well. Multiplicator. Multiplicator. I like multiplicator. That's kind of cool. And what you can do also is mess with the range. So, how high do you want it or how low you want the arpeggiator to go? So, check it out. When I hit two, it's going up twice the amount. Check 
three video games. And you get some crazy results as you play around with these. And you can change the pattern. You can actually flip the arpeggiation. Alternate. And of course you can change the time if you sync, lock chord, or whatever. I usually don't use those, but you can. Let's be normal. And see, just by playing around with the pattern and these parameters, you notice I came up with something totally different from those chords that we initially had. So check it out. So we're going to um, stop that and actually not use that arpeggiation. And these are the chords that we started with. And you know what we're gonna do? Actually, let's, I'm gonna show you a little trick uh, in addition to that. We'll create a whole nother pattern. We're gonna keep those initial chords. And what I'm gonna do is clone Omnisphere and change the sound or keep the same sound just to show you um, you know what's going on so we got the first chords and we can actually copy that let's hopefully actually we want pattern one so let's copy those chords put it to pattern two and the other omnisphere paste and what we're gonna do is keep the original chords and let's go here and do some arpeggiation on top of the chords and this is a cool way to fill up your beats really fast with different you know um like arpeggiation or some type of rhythm uh rhythmic uh melody in the background so let's see what we're gonna do remember control a selects all in the piano roll and then alt a does the arpeggiation and you know what i'm gonna not do that and put this in song mode so I can hear it in context and hear it with that so let's uh, select all again all day I like that let's, let's flip it there we go and let's try to uh, increase the time multiplier there we go. Lower the gate a little bit. Oh man. Remember to hit a set so that way, you know. It keeps the rules that you set. A step right here. Hit a step. And actually, I want to save that because I might make a beat out of it. So let's save that. And what I want to do is actually just mess around with the different sounds to see, you know, what type of feel I would like to add on with the initial chords. So let's hit play. shorter um let's try synth short i don't even know what this will sound like so it might sound like some garbage but we don't know we'll check it out nice very nice really like this song let's go with the actual sound effect turn that feel very well
As you can see, that was just two different sounds and it's a quick way to arpeggiate, you know, just two standard chords. So two sounds, you hear how full that sounds? And you can select all, control A, control down arrow. a rhythm or a melody or whatever you want to it so you can always be really creative with these type of things and just add whatever you want to it so there you have it that was a quick tip with the arpeggiation hopefully it wasn't too complicated or whatever remember alt a brings up the arpeggiator and you can use the same chord and then also just change some parameters and kind of just layer the beat and make it a little more complex just make it a little more you and just kind of create more with that, that type of feature that type of technique so you know uh definitely hit the sub button as well as the bell so you're part of the notifications you get to see all the new tips that we got coming up and also the all the videos that we have planned for this channel and also give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and you learn something so keep making great music and always 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 keep your mind open to be creative peace